What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, I love that mighty God we serve. I love that mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Yes, I love that mighty God we serve. I love that mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, I love that mighty God we serve. I love that mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, Jesus is the God we serve. Jesus is the God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Well, God bless you, Elder and Sister Dorset. God bless you, Sister Gibson. Good morning, Yusuf. God bless you, Sister Newby. Good morning, Sister Jackson. Good morning, Brother Henderson. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Polk. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Shy. God bless you. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sister Matthews. Good morning, Sister Briscoe. Good morning, Sister Jan. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Street. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Carly. God bless you. Good morning. Bishop and Lady Alde, your family, God bless you and all the saints in the Allegheny Diocese. Good morning to you, Duchess. God bless you, Brother Aaron and the family. Good morning, Sister Payne. Good morning, Mother Wright. God bless you. Good morning, Missionary Johnson. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Briscoe. Good morning, Deacon Grant. God bless you, sir, and your family. Good morning, Elk Minister and Sister Morris. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you, Brother Perry and the family. Good morning, Sister Rodriguez. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Katrina. God bless you and your family family. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Sister Butler. God bless you, Brother Butler and the family. Good morning, Brother and Sister Wiggins. God bless you both. Good morning, good morning. God bless you, Dr. Hayward. Good morning to you and your family. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Jan. Good morning, Rosalind. Good morning, Crystal. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Speller. God bless you. Good morning, Elder and Sister Robinson. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Mother Morris. God bless you. Good morning. God bless you, Sister Charlene. Good morning, Sister Reed. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Smithers. God bless you. Good morning, Mama. Annette, God bless you. Good morning to you. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to spend a few moments with you with a biblical meditation and in prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And we continue to witness the power of God and the manifestation of God through prayer. God remains faithful to us. I'm just so thankful for every day. God knows how to make a way. Every day, God knows how to open doors and provide, and we're grateful. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on Facebook, please place it right into the chat, or you can inbox Reginald Davis, or you can inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, you can also place it into the chat, or you can direct message Pastor RJD. And to everybody who was on the conference call, and I thank God for all of our conference call listeners, everybody who's on YouTube or anybody can text your prayer request to 336 
336-567-5358. Again, the number is 336-567-5358. You can text your prayer request. We're adding them to the prayer book, book to the prayer list. We're praying over them and we are believing God with you for what we know God is indeed able to do. I want you to join me in the word this morning. In Psalm number 81, Psalm number 81, Psalm number 81, and I want to read verses 1 through 5. Psalm number 81, verses 1 through 5. <clears throat> Sing aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Bring a psalm and bring hither the timbrel and the pleasant harp with the psaltery. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. For this was a statute for Israel and a law of the God of Jacob. This he ordained in Joseph for testimony when he went out through the land of Egypt, where I heard a language that I understood not. Where I heard a language that I understood not. I want to use for a thought this morning, called to worship. Called to worship. You know... I'm I'm not completely sure if the saints understand the sacred responsibility of worship. It is not just something that we do. It is not just something that um we choose to engage in. It's not just a Sunday morning thing. Many of us in a couple of hours are going to get up and get dressed and head to church for what we call Sunday worship. There'll be the praise team, the musicians, the choir, and we will essentially, in our minds, be the audience. We're there to hear the praise team. We're there to hear the musicians playing the instruments. We're there to hear um, the, the choir sing. And for a lot of us, that's kind of where we are. We're in that mindset that um, we're going to worship as if worship is simply an event. And worship is more than an event. It is more than a Sunday thing. It is more than a Wednesday thing. It is, it, it, it is the life of those who are chosen <clears throat> by God. It is our life. It is our life. We are called to worship. We are called to celebrate, to rejoice, to acknowledge, and to give praise unto God. Yes, let me say it again. Give praise unto God. That is the calling of every single believer. Everybody that knows God has a responsibility to worship God. It's not, and, and I'm going to say this, it's not based on your mood or your feeling or what kind of day you're having or whether or not it's Sunday or whether or not you have to sing in the choir or you have to serve in the service. Worship, yes, somebody just said that. Worship, Mother Joseph, you're absolutely right, is a lifestyle. It, it is a manner of living for everybody that claims to know God. We are called to worship. Israel was ordained of God to worship him so that God would have a witness in the earth that would celebrate and rejoice and exalt him for his goodness and his mercy. That was the calling of Israel. That's why he brought them out. That's why when they came out of Egypt, they sang and they rejoiced and they celebrated because God wanted somebody in the earth that would honor him in such a way 
way that other people could see what God had done for them. We know when people see us, in, and this is the way it used to be, I don't know how we act now, but years ago, people came to church and they watched the fervor. They watched the sincerity. They watched the exuberance of our worship. They watched the tears in our eyes as we would lift our hands. They watched us rejoice and dance and celebrate God. And, and it created an inquiry. What had God done for you that you would celebrate him like that? What had God done in your life? What had God done for you that you would lift your hands and open your mouth? And it wasn't just the women. It was the men and the women lifting up God, celebrating God in such a way that those who did not know God made inquiries about God. What is it about that God that makes you dance like that? What it is about that God that makes you cry like that? What is it about that God that makes you clap your hands and open your mouth and rejoice? There was something about the relationship and it became a segue into bringing people to Christ because they saw what God had done in your life. And from there, they were able to rejoice and celebrate. And that was the intention. That was the intention. That worship is an is an attention getter. It is not to get attention, ooh, God, on, on you, whether you're the singer or the preacher or whatever, but it's to bring attention to God. Bring attention to God. God needs to know. My God, hallelujah. People need to know how we feel about God. And so the psalmist says very quickly, he says, sing aloud. Oh my God. You know, I sing every morning and I'm not a singer. Hallelujah. Everybody in my family can sing except for me. I'm not a singer, but I sing not because I can, but I sing in celebration to God. I sing in celebration to God. Hallelujah. I make a joyful noise. It might be a noise, but it's a joyful noise. It might not necessarily be on key or in tune, but it's a joyful noise because I have a responsibility for worship. I have a responsibility to glorify God. God. He says, take a song. In other words, get a song. Everybody ought to have a song that you sing. Everybody ought to have something that you express in your worship to God and bring hither the tam the timbrel or the tambourine. Bring that noise maker and bring that pleasant harp. Hallelujah. That stringed instrument. Bring it with the psaltery. Bring all of this together. That's why we have the instruments because we bring them together so that we can worship God. We bring Bring them together so we can celebrate God. Then he says, blow the trumpet in the new moon in a time appointed on our solemn feast day. It's believed, this is a Psalm of Asaph, and it's believed that it was written specifically for the Feast of Tabernacles. And the Feast of Tabernacles celebrated Israel's journey through the wilderness. They literally, in this feast day in Jerusalem, would build small tabernacles, and they would sit in these small booths, and they would celebrate and sing to remember the fact that at one point they were nomads. They were traveling and wandering in the desert. They were moving from place to place, didn't have land didn't have a place to dwell. So they would reenact the tabernacle experience because in the tabernacle experience, God was moving with them. He was in a tent. They were in tents and they moved from place to place from Egypt to the promised land. And it reminded them of where God brought them from. And yes, my friend, you need to remember from where you have come. You need to remember the hole of the pit from which you were dug, the rock from which you were hewn. You need to remember that because it's representative of what God has done in your life. Oh, you might be blessed now. You might have a house now. You might have shelter and a job and all these things now. But for many of us, some of us, hallelujah, did not have these things. God kept us when we were homeless. God kept us when we didn't know where the next meal was coming from. God kept us as we went from pillar to post. That was the hand of God covering and protecting us. 
us. And wherever you are now, you need to be glorifying God. Wherever you are now, you need to be lifting him up. If you have a level of comfort, if you have a level of prosperity, if you have a level of stability in your life, it is now a sacred responsibility that you glorify, celebrate, and give God the glory for everything he has done, oh my God, in your life. Whatever he's done, you need to celebrate that grace and that mercy and that love that God has provided for you. And so the psalmist says, blow the trumpet, celebrate the solemn day, for this was a statute for Israel. In other words, it was a law. Worship was not optional. Worship was not if you feel like it. Worship was not if you think you ought to. No, worship was a command of God. And in the church, worship is still a command of God that everybody, you don't come to church to be the audience. You come to church to be the participant. And if you have worshiped all all week long, if you've made those melodies in your heart to the Lord, if you've celebrated God's goodness, hallelujah, in your house, on your job, wherever you are, when you get to the house of God, it's no struggle. You bring your worship, I bring my worship, and we make one sound and glory to God. I'm challenging everybody today, everybody, when you get into the house of God, don't make the preacher say, clap your hands. When you get into the house of God, don't make the praise team say, lift your voice. When you walk into the house of God, have in your mind, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of God. I was glad about it. I was excited about it. I was rejoicing in it because God has been good to me. And so, yes, I'm going to praise him. And yes, I'm going to exalt him. It's a statute, saints. It's a requirement. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. You don't belong to yourself. I don't belong to myself, but we were made for the worship and the glory of God. We were made for that purpose. He ordained in Joseph for a testimony and he went out through the land of Egypt where I heard a language that I understood not. Israel was in a strange land and they went there because Joseph was there and God had taken Joseph from the pit all the way to the palace and here and and so with Joseph came the children of Israel into Egypt and while they were all of their time in Egypt was not slavery some of the time was just prosperity God blessing them in Egypt God rejoicing them and blessing them in a strange land I'm talking to somebody because some of us have been in some strange places places that perhaps we did not belong places that didn't fit who we were but God brought us to that place so we could rejoice and celebrate him. There's a reason why you're the only one saved in your family. And it's not that you go to heaven alone, but that you learn how to worship and live for God so your family can, co can come to Christ. There's a reason why you're the only one saved on your job. And it's not for you to sit in the corner with your nose in the air being self-righteous, but it's for you to glorify God and to do those good works that they might see them and glorify your father which is in heaven. God has an intent for where he has placed us and he has placed us there that we might give him the glory. There's a reason why your church is in the neighborhood. There's a reason why you live where you live and it's there so that you can glorify and praise God. My brother, my sister, you have been called to worship. You have been sanctioned by God to glorify him. You have been positioned, oh my God, to bring attention to God. Not to you, not to you, not to you, but attention to the God that you serve so that God can be glorified, so that others can be brought into a relationship with him and so that he can get the glory out of your life. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for the word this morning and thank God for all of you. Hallelujah. We've been called to it, saints. We've been chosen to do it. Let's worship the true and living God. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Eternal God, we love you. We thank you for your goodness, your mercy, your grace, your love and your kindness. Lord, you've been so good to us that all we can say is thank you. 
thank you for last night's rest and thank you for waking up this morning. And Lord, we're in our right mind and we're able, we were able to get out of the bed and get prepared to join this great cadre of believers, my God, from all over the world. I thank you, God, for the morning prayer family. And I thank you for everybody that's on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or on the conference call. And I'm asking you now to flood this prayer room with your presence as we exalt you, as we magnify you, as we glorify you. God, punctuate our praise with your presence. Lord God, so that we know that you're in the midst because you inhabit you inhabit the praises of your people. And I thank Thank you for everybody that is in this prayer room today. And I'm asking you to bless everybody that is in the prayer room right now. God, send your glory, send your presence, send your honor into our midst today and exalt yourself now that your people, my God, might rejoice. God, I'm praying today that you would move upon every heart and mind and soul. I'm praying today that you would minister to every need right now now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for everybody on this line today that you remember them. Remember my God, Deacon and Sister Shy. Remember my God, Tony and Phoenicia. Remember my God, Phil and Angie. Remember, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, Elder and Sister Taylor Sr., Elder and Sister Taylor Jr. God, remember my God, Darlene and Irvin today. I pray for everybody, every couple that is on the line today, God, that you would minister to their needs and their necessities. God, that you would strengthen them. Lord, bless Lady Davis and me today in the name of Jesus. God, bless my God, every couple, every family that's connected today. I pray your grace to be upon them. Lord, we pray for Nikki Anderson this morning. We pray for serenity. We pray for Margaret Speller. We pray for the United Refuge Church, for Pastor and Lady Williams. We pray, God, for Greater Refuge Temple of New York City, for Bishop Charles and Mother Faye Wright, for Bishop William and Sister, hallelujah, Sarah Wilkins today. We're praying today for Katrina Wilson Brown. I'm praying for Bishop and Lady Alday this morning. I'm praying, my God, that you remember, my God, Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson, and you remember Irvin Johnson. Lord, sit there and undertake in the name of Jesus. Minister to their needs and their necessities and do what needs to be done. I pray for Deacon and Sister Graves this morning. I pray for Brother Paul Moore today and his family. I pray, my God, for Brother and Sister Wardlaw and their family. I pray for Mary Dykes this morning. I pray for Margot Briscoe today. I pray for Judy McLeod. I lift up Brandy Holden today. I pray for Stephanie Rickenbacker. I pray for Duchess Horton and her entire family. I pray for Elder and Sister Robinson. I pray for Reverend Jackie Carr Hamilton today. I pray, my God, that you remember Deacon Columbus and Sister Linda Bugs. Remember Fania Golding this morning. Remember Cammie and the Gates family. Remember Queen of James today. Remember, my God, B.J. Emmanuel. Lord, I'm praying today that you remember Elder, hallelujah, and Sister Holman and the Refuge House of Prayer. I pray for First Lady Dorothy Atkins. I pray, my God, for Refuge Temple Way of the Cross in Baltimore. I pray for Greater Refuge Temple, oh God, in New York City, their music department. Department. I pray for Glory Chapel Baptist Church. Lord, remember, oh God, missionary Janice Johnson today. Everybody on this prayer line today, we're praying for them. Lord, because you know the needs. Lord, I'm praying for salvation for everybody that's not saved. Our loved ones, our family, our friends that are outside of the ark of safety. Lord, redeem them. Call them by their name and bring them, oh my God, to a place of repentance and let them be born of the water and of the spirit. Lord, I'm praying today that you would remember the backsliders everywhere, wherever they are, God. Even if they're sitting in church, I want you to reclaim and restore them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, look on. Hey, God, look on every, oh God, discouraged heart, every heart that is going through. I'm praying, God, that you would strengthen them and help them, oh God, and revive them in the name of Jesus. Every name on the prayer list, every name 
my God, in text or messenger or email, even the unspoken request, God, stretch out your hand now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I'm praying today that you would remember the sick everywhere. Lord, I'm praying for Mother Pryor this morning, God, that you would stretch out your healing hand right now. God, touch her now. In the name of Jesus Christ, and bring your healing virtue because you declared by your stripes, God, we are healed. I'm praying today that you remember, my God, Lady Davis. Do you remember Deacon Davis this morning? I'm praying for Sarah Corden today. I'm praying for Ivy. I'm praying for Kenneth Jones. I'm praying for Deacon Eric Harvey. I'm praying for Sarah Williams. I'm praying, my God, that you remember, my God, Bobby Mott, that you remember Camilla Mott. Mark McGee. I'm praying for Bishop Warner this morning. I'm praying, my God, that you remember, oh God, Trinity today, that you remember Lashanta in the name of Jesus, that you remember Mother Pittman this morning. Remember, oh God, Sister Sheila Reed. Remember Patricia Howell. Remember Sister Deborah Stokes. Remember, oh God, Doris Jones today. Remember Margie's son, Chris. Remember Aaliyah. We thank you, God, for bringing Bishop and, oh God, Dr. Johnson's son home from the hospital. Now give him, oh God, complete recovery in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for Lamira today. I'm praying, my God, for Mother Gwendolyn Fleming, for Evelyn Morgan Jackson. I'm praying for Gaynell Smith Magwood's husband today. Lord, everybody that needs healing, God, touch them. I'm praying for Deaconess Harris. I'm praying for Mother Sharp this morning. I'm praying, my God, for Dr. Peggy Johnson today. I'm praying for Mother Patterson. I'm praying for Derek Stewart. I'm praying, my God, for Sister McCall's nephew, God. I'm praying for Robin's uncle. Everybody everywhere that is suffering in their bodies, I'm praying now for your healing virtue. Remember, my God, Minister Perkins today. Remember Daniel. Remember Deacon Adams. Remember Deacon Wilson. Remember Deacon and Sister Harrison this morning. I'm praying, my God, that you remember, my God, in the name of Jesus, Elder Tall, Elder Dokes today. I'm praying, God, that you would look on. Brother Phil right now. Lord, touch the body and the name of Jesus. I'm praying for Mother DeBose. I'm praying for Mother Williams, Mother Lloyd. I'm praying, my God, that you remember everybody that's sick. And Lord, touch them now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying, God, for healing to be upon Mother, oh God, Missionary Janet Davis, Missionary Joyce Domingo, Missionary Gail Hardy. God, remember Missionary Hodges today, Missionary Brisbane, Missionary Roseman. Remember Denise McLean this morning with your healing virtue. Remember Mother Wilson today. Remember, my God, in your name. Hallelujah. Remember. Carl today. Remember Deacon Grant, God. Remember everybody that's sick everywhere. God touch their bodies right now from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Lord, remember them now. Remember my God, Pastor and Lady Winston. Remember Bishop and Mother D today. Remember Apostle Keith, God. Lord, I'm praying today that you would look on Mother Hicks and Mother Owens this morning. Lord, I'm praying today that you remember, oh God, Bishop Richard Johnson, Bishop Richard Phillips, Bishop Clonell Williams, Bishop my my God, remember, hallelujah, Bishop Albert Norwood. Remember Bishop Alvin Palmer. Remember Bishop Larry Arnold today. Bishop Gregory Wilder. Bishop Irving Taylor. My God, remember Bishop Stephen Harper. Lord, send your healing virtue now in the name of Jesus. God, work miracles because we know that you're able. God, I'm praying for Apostle Herbert Edwards, Apostle Leroy Joseph, Apostle Charles Williams, Apostle, my God, hallelujah, Sylvester Norwood. I'm praying, my God for Brother Wiggins. I'm praying for Brother and Mother Sherrod. I'm praying for Mother Garland, Dr. Hayward, Sister Hayward, Dr. Hayward's mother. Lord, I'm lifting up and I'm praying, my God, that you remember Mother Jill and Mother Pride. Lord, I'm praying today for Mother Carter, for Mother Chambers, for Mother Moorhead today. I'm praying, my God, that you remember Lady Staten this morning. God, remember my God in the name of Jesus, Pastor Carr and Minister Carr. Lord, I'm praying for healing right now. Remember Elder Tyson, Elder Smith, Mother the Foster Henry J. Brother Cliff today. God, remember them in a special way. Remember my God, Mother Holman, Mother Tanaj, Missionary Simmons. Remember Cynthia, Catherine, and Duchess. Remember Marlette today, Maurice today, with your healing virtue. Remember him. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, God, I look to you now to remember Tony and Kimberly. My God, Chris, Dennis, everybody, everywhere. Mother Jackson, my God, Cynthia Bays, and everybody that needs that healing touch. Lord, you touch 
touch them today. Every hospital, nursing home, rehab center, even in hospice, God, you're God. So touch and heal now. God, I'm praying today for those that are grieving everywhere. So much grief, Lord, so much death. But God, we lift up, oh God, Kim Wright today. We pray for Sheila Jackson's family, for Terry Epps. We pray for the Nicholson family, the Moore family, for Miss Sue. We pray for Fernando Moore today, for Evelyn Morgan Jackson. We pray, my God, that you remember the Baldwin and Miller families, the Glover and Doja family. Remember the Barr family. Remember, my God, Lady Wilder and the Wilder Dempsey family. Remember, my God, oh God, hallelujah, Lady Bishop today and the Bishop and the Perry families. God, I pray today, God, that you remember Dulcy Richards Glean for Rhonda Darlington, God. Remember them. Remember in the name of Jesus, the Atkins family, the Bond family, Stacy Bullock. Remember the Reed family. Remember my God, Lady Easley and her family and the Carpenter's House Church and the Way of the Cross Church International. Remember the Kennedy family today. Remember my God, every grieving family everywhere. We pray for them right now. We pray for Mother Moya and Mother Walker today. We pray for Jalisa. We pray for Jackie. We pray, God, that you remember Jerry, Takesha, Phoenicia, Whitney. God, every grieving family, God, remember them right now. Touch and comfort them. Lord, we pray today that you remember, oh God, Lady Maxwell, Charles, and Cedric and the family. That you remember Dr. Carter and the family. That you remember in the name of Jesus Christ, every grieving household. God, remember my God, Apostle Phil, Shekinah, and the family. Remember, my God, Mother Harrell and her family, Mother Grant and her family. Remember the Groover family, the Kramer family, the Hargrove family, the Blunt family. I pray for the Bynums, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family, God. I pray for the Meadows family, the Moyer family, the Perkins family, the Dockery family, God. I pray today that you remember Pam, her mom and her sisters. Lord, I'm praying today that you remember the White family. God, look on Anita and the Brian Hopkins family, Margie and the McLean Melvin and Street family. Families. God, I pray today that you remember in the name of Jesus, the Ransom family, the Jackson family, the Newkirk family, the Ned family, the Green family. God, I pray today that you remember Brenda and the Alan McNeely family, Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family, Trell and Ryan and the Alan Williams family, Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family. I pray for the Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdies, the Sneeds, the Washington Fields family. I pray, God, that you remember in the name of Jesus, oh God, the Winninghams, the Bankses, the Middle the tailors. God, remember, oh God, even the loss, oh God, oh God, of Lady Wade, oh God, in Louisiana. I pray for Pastor Wade and the family. Lord, I pray for everybody. I pray for Bishop and Mother Valier today in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, God, that you comfort grieving people everywhere. God, remember the Felix family, the Sapata family, the Mannix, the Boodrums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family. God, I'm praying today that you remember, oh God, hallelujah, the Taylors, the Phillips, the Joseph. Look on the Davises, God, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayes, the Moors, the Harbisons, the Austins, the Adams, and the Austin family. Every grieving widow, every grieving widower, every child and parent, every loved one, God, give comfort in the name of Jesus. Lord, I'm praying today, oh God, that you remember first responders and essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. I pray for the church this morning, every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, every bishop and elder, every first lady. I pray, oh God, for the pastor's children, mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons, all of the young people in the church, God. I pray for musicians, singers, and psalmists. Lord, the entire church, God, strengthen and help the church now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I'm praying, my God, for everybody. I'm praying for school employees and students everywhere. I'm praying for Northern High School, for Lowe's Grove School. I'm praying, my God, that you remember Carrington today, God, with protection and success. Lord, I'm praying for everybody that works, cover them in your blood, protect them. Everybody that needs a job, God, create opportunities in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, remember this troubled world everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Israel, Gaza, China, Ukraine, Russia, the United States, the Caribbean, Africa, Asia, Australia. God, the entire world, God, needs to be healed. So heal the land, heal the land from sin. Heal the land, my God. Hallelujah. From hatred, from violence, from jealousy. Heal the land from injustice. Heal the land from racism and sexism. And let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. God, I want you to meet us today. Hey, Shandiyarobo Satanama in a powerful way. Touch God 
in your precious name, every worship service everywhere. Let your anointing, oh God, be realized and blessed and strengthened now. And as you do all of this, we give your name the glory, the honor, and all the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Everybody on the line, come on and give God praise right now. Everybody on the line, come on. Let's give God praise right now. He is worthy. Hallelujah. We have been chosen to worship. We have been chosen to worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We have been chosen to worship. This is my declaration for today. Lord, let me celebrate you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me celebrate you. Let me rejoice in you. Let me exalt you. Let me praise you. Let me worship you. Let everything I do be a celebration of your grace, your love, your mercy, your kindness, everything that you have done. Lord, let me celebrate you. I want to exalt the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to lift him up. I want to glorify him. I want to honor him. Hallelujah. I was made for worship. Hallelujah. You were made for worship. Your hands were made for clapping. Your arms were made to lift your hands in worship to God. Your feet were made for dancing. Hallelujah. Your whole body was made to rejoice in the God of your salvation. So let's go to church this morning. Let's rejoice right now. And then let's take that worship to the house of God today that everybody, hallelujah, celebrates God and brings attention to him. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your morning is off to a great start. This is Sunday, so you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. Join us at 10 o'clock for Sunday school, 1130 for the morning worship from Refuge Temple. It's going to be a great day. I've got a word to share. Hallelujah. I'm getting on the highway to get to the church because I've got a word to share with the body of Christ today. So meet us at 152 North Main Street this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me thank everybody. You can also stay connected through our podcast, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, SoundCloud, and Spotify. All of this available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Let me thank everybody that seeds and sows and shares with the ministry. Your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do, and we thank God for them, and we thank God for you. And if you desire to be a blessing, you can mail a gift to Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. That's P.O. Box 35. 552 Burlington, North Carolina 27215. You can also give online. Our website is www.refuge temple. N is in North, C is in Carolina.com. Refuge Temple NC.com. And you can give on the donate page. You can also share through our, the Give the Fi app. Just simply type Refuge Temple Burlington. You'll see a picture of the church and you can make your gift there. Or if you have Cash App, our Cash App is dollar sign the number one refuge. Dollar sign one refuge is our cash app and you can make your gift there and we thank you for your giving but we thank you most of all for being a part of the morning prayer family thank you for praying please keep praying and keep coming to prayer and keep inviting others to prayer share this prayer service with somebody today in the name of the lord jesus christ and look keep praying pray for me pray for lady davis pray for our children pray for my father pray for my sisters pray for my in-laws our nieces our nephews our entire family pray for refuge temple that God would continue to bless us. And let's pray one for another that the grace of God might cover us and keep us, hallelujah, and sustain us. The Lord help you today to celebrate him. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom. Shalom.